learn Salesforce Lightning Web Component with a live project. In this video series, we're going to learn about uh, Salesforce Lightning Component by doing a live project. Uh, let's learn Salesforce Lightning Web Component concepts and then implement the same by building a, a new project uh, called Partner Management App. So this is the first video in this series. And uh, in this in this video, we're going to learn about, uh, or I'll just take you through the, the overview about uh, partner management app, the environment that we need for building this Lightning Web component, and we'll talk about the development tools. Unlike uh, our component, you know, development or even Apex coding, we need to take help from additional development tools to do a lightning web component project we'll talk about that in brief in this video and in the subsequent videos we'll talk about uh, we'll talk in detail we'll just try to learn a particular concept in lightning web component and then try to build a component and then see how that component fits into this partner management app so we'll just start with the development tools first and then i'll just show you the uh, show you the app so Talking about the tools needed for Lightning Web Component, again, unlike uh, unlike you know developing a project in our component, which you can certainly do it by just going to your org and then going to a developer console and then you know from there you can just create a Lightning uh, our component, isn't it? Or you can just create a class file, you can create uh, you know objects, all such things you can do it for doing a complete development, right? Right on the browser using a browser inside and all you can do the development, but Lightning Web Component is a little different. So you cannot use, uh, you cannot directly go to your org and then create a Lightning Web Component. Instead, you need additional tools. It's like you have to develop Lightning Web Component outside of the Salesforce environment and then deploy the components right into the org where you wanted to you know, see, that, uh, see that working. So that's the reason we need these additional tools. So uh, Salesforce is encouraging source-driven development and that's you know the main reason why Salesforce did not give uh, Lightning Web Component uh, you know create and uh, manage you know right within the org so we have to do it outside of the Salesforce environment or org so talking about the tools again we need Salesforce CLI which is a command line interface so you have a link which you can just directly you know go and then download all the softwares we're going to talk about everything is freeware Everything is open source and free, but you can just go to the link and then download based on the operating system that you have, Windows, Unix, etc., or Mac. So you need a Salesforce CLI, which is, uh, you know, the, the command line interface. You also need Microsoft VS Code. So we will use Microsoft VS Code uh, code editor for uh, doing Lightning Web Component development to ease Salesforce uh, Lightning Web Component development. Salesforce has created an extension. Uh, you know for VS code which you can directly you know, install from this link so once VS code is set up and uh, for Salesforce CLA to work you need latest Java you need you know Node.js both on your machine and you know to manage the code that you build you know you you can uh, keep your code directly in uh, you know github which is which is the online uh, online source control platform and to manage the, the code versions, right? As soon as you make change in a code, you want to keep track of all the history of changes that you wanted to do, that you have done. So you can just manage it using it. And both are just optional in this case, you know, for this project. But these are, you know, these are the required things, right? And uh, so as I said, you know, you, you have to install all these tools on your, on your mission. You have to start with your Lightning Web Component development. So this is the case you know, before Salesforce introduced a new feature called Code Builder, okay? Because of this dependency, right? Wherever I go, you know, I have to ensure that uh, or whichever machine that I use, maybe my, my office laptop or maybe my personal laptop or another desktop machine, right? So I have to get all these softwares installed before even, right, I start with the development, isn't it? So to get away with this dependency, to do away with this dependency, what Salesforce has done, right? Uh, Salesforce has, has introduced this new feature called Salesforce Code Builder. So whatever softwares that I just, you know, um, walked you through, right? You don't need those softwares anymore. You don't, when I say you don't need these softwares, you still need the softwares, but you don't have to install those softwares on your machine. Okay. Instead, with a stable internet 
connection and uh, with a web browser you can still able to do lightning web component development and you can do that with this feature called salesforce code builder right now it is in beta version it is not you know not at uh, made generally available but it is pretty you know in a good shape now for us to build a nice uh, a complete lightning web component project okay so i'm going to use the salesforce code builder you know code builder uh, uh, tool to get this lightning web component developed okay so don't worry about tools in, uh, tools or software installation okay all you need is just a browser and an arc for the development that's all it is we'll we'll talk more about that in the next video okay i'll just quickly take you through uh, the you know the the application that we are about to build so this is the application that we are about to build so this is called partner management so given any business right uh, you cannot just run your business in silo you have to get partnered with you know some of the some of the other companies some of the other vendors to 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 you know upsell or cross sell your business right or to to, in, to increase the, to or expand your business isn't it for example let's say you are uh, you are a ceo of uh, you are a ceo of a technology so, yeah, company that that actually you know uh, that actually sells technology you know services right so so think about it you need a marketing team to you know to to enhance or uh, to create brand awareness right so you will certainly have a marketing team in your organization but that team you know has to work with some partners you know they are good at doing marketing campaigns they are good at branding right so or you want to you know uh, find new uh, new leads or prospects in a completely different region in a completely new region let's say middle east right so you will partner with some of the local vendors to find you know potential business you know in that region right you might need uh, you might need partnership with legal firms to you know to run through or to to legally verify some of the some of the profiles of the customers or partners that you work with so so this partner you know is very essential in every business so you may you, you can find different types of partners marketing partners resellers you know uh, social media channel partners distributors client etc etc et so so we do have you know so these partners are really important so so this particular application is going to help especially the sales and marketing team to look for partners okay to look for partners uh, you know with whom they can engage with and then complete you know an opportunity or a business deal for example i could have you know technology partners uh, these are my technology partners cisco microsoft etc right so let's say i want a project to be done for one of my clients yeah and that requires you know let's say uh, uh, you know some 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 networking stuff right i can take help from cisco cisco being my partner a channel partner right i can work with cisco and you know get this to get this you know project implemented let's say i want to do salesforce implementation for one of my elite customers so i can do it you know with my workforce i can still work with salesforce get their guidance right and uh, and you know together we can accomplish the project for the for the customer so these are you know some of the some of the examples or let's say marketing partners i can work with demand base or six sense or mailchimp right to to uh, you know for personalization to enhance uh, the marketing reach of the organization all such things you know i can certainly do that you know with this marketing partners so so this application will certainly help the sales team right when they want you know when they think that it is it would be a good idea to work with a partner to get the particular you know particular project implemented for a customer so in such scenarios they will come to this partner management app and they will you know they can just search for the type of partner they wanted to you know they are looking for let's say they are looking for a marketing partner right and uh, of course these are the these are the partners you know that are uh, that are having tie up with the organization okay let's say a demand base okay and demand base right amy jackson is the primary point of contact for demand base so as sales a sales team member or you know a sales manager can reach out to amy jackson right she is the relationship partner for demand base and when i click on a particular you know particular profile i get more details as in the, the partner budget the total pipeline you know which the organization was able to uh, garner you know by having relationship with this demand based partner all such things you will you will get to see right here contract ended contract started etc etc 
plus you will also you know find the location of uh, the point of contact you know amy jackson for example this is you know where uh, amy jackson right is currently located she's in london you know so and so you know office etc so this is you know this is about uh, the partners the partners we are also uh, able to see the reviews you know because the demand base could be you know uh, uh, let's say uh, let's say there are uh, three sales managers sales manager one you know worked with the demand base get a project implemented sales manager two worked with demand base and then got another project implemented so each sales managers right can provide their own reviews in terms of you know the quality of their partnership in terms of uh, uh, the, the quality of the deliverables in terms of you know in terms of uh, or, or rather overall rating plus a, a candid feedback what went good and what went what did not go well all such things you can able to view the reviews so great partnership etc etc and um, you know so you can just see the implementation was great awesome on time deliverable all such things can be you know can be uh, can be gathered you know uh, from the sales team as a review so this can help new sales managers when they look for you know marketing partners they can still right to take a look at the sales team uh, sales team reviews and then you know they can take a call which partner that they would they would like to you know work with so that is also available in this in the, on the screen so for any new uh, partner reviews right as a sales guy i can just click here and then i get a form where I can just you know type in um, let it load. So so this is where you know I can just type in the partner details, the type of work that we work with the partner, all such things, and then click on save. So once it is done, it just goes and then you know sits in the you know in the review. So that's that's pretty much you know this 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 project. Okay, and also you have some quick uh, uh, links to add different partner types. So right now we have uh, multiple partner types, right? right in the drop down you do have option to add new partner type you do have option to create partner account you do have option to create partner primary contact so all such things you know right within the single application it's possible to see okay so this is what we're going to build in this entire uh, entire you know project lightning web component project we will learn each concept in lightning web component and then we'll just see how we are building uh, or applying that concept and building this project right from the scratch you know till this end okay so that's the plan uh, more to come in the upcoming videos for now you know i hope this video has helped you to get a quick view about uh, what this uh, project all about right and also a brief about the environment that we're going to use it right so we'll catch up on the next video and then talk more about uh, environment setup and from that we'll just start discussing lightning web component concepts